Okay guys, hope you're all having a good day. Uh, in today's video, I've come over to Drumnadrocket. Not too far away from Inverness, located on the edge of Loch Ness. Uh, I've been to these trails once before, uh, but the last time I was here it was torrential rain. And I think there was only two trails on Trail Forks the last time I was here. But uh, I've just noticed this morning that they've added a few more here, so I've decided to come over and check them out, see if they're any good. So I'm just making my way to the top now, and uh, I'll catch you at the top. Right, so we've made it up to the top. Uh, nice, easy fire road cycle right up to the top. Quite gradual, which is good. Uh, we're going to start off with this one, which is called the Real Raccoon Run, uh, which I've not done before, so no idea what it's going to be like. Wow, this is interesting. <laughs> nice bit of uh, boardwalk. Nice wee stump gap there. Stump kicker, whatever you want to call it. Oh, a few boggy bits. I'm not the only person to do that. <laughs> Phew. I was all over the place in there. Second trail of the day. This one's called Lockdown. Oh yes. Oh god. Some more boardwalk. Down we go. This has just been cut into a field, this bit. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, right down this bit. 
back up again. Yes. Going high. This bit's quite good. Whew. Ah. Right, it's trail number three, Red Upper. I think it's going to be quite cross country by the looks of things. Okay. Looks like we're going downhill from here. was a left option there but uh oh oh wow yeah hmm rock slabs a whiff of lagging wolf tracks about it this bit oh, that was good some more boardwalk Gotta get your pedal on. He bike's good for that. <laughs> it makes uh, flatter trails that little bit more fun. Oh. That was worth doing, just for that rock slab bit at the top. That was good. So just after coming off that last trail, I ended up bumping into one of the guys that actually does the building here. And he told me about this trail here. So no idea what it's called or what it's gonna be like. It's supposed to be some sort of rock slab on it, but apart from that, I don't really know much about it. But uh, I'm gonna drop in and have a go at it. I think. Oh, that's a rock slab and a half. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a belter of a rock slab. I need to go back up and have a look at that one. Well, I'll tell you what, I wasn't prepared for that, but uh, oh, that was beautiful. That's a, yeah, that's a good rock slab, that one.
This is more like it. Oh, that was, uh, oh, I really like that one. Whatever it's called. Okay, I'm gonna split left here because I've not actually done this one before, so something a bit different. Mick Ribbon, according to that sign there. So what the bit on the right was ribbon and this is Mick Ribbon. This is quite flowy. Oh, which way? I'm gonna go right, because I can see a bit of building has been done over there. Tight turns, tight turns. Not bad though. Not bad. Quality. There's a serious amount of building that's been uh, done on this trail. Yes. Oh, that was good. So this is going to be the last one. Come over onto a different hill. And I believe this one's called Berm Palace. Last time I was here I tried it and it was destroyed, but uh, apparently it's been redone since I was last here. So... Ah, that wasn't too bad. This will be the berms then. With the name Burn Palace. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. This is the good stuff. The Burn Palace indeed. <laughs> oh, it's a bit dark in here now. Wow, what a trail. <laughs> oh, what a trail to end on. Fucking brilliant. Oh, I will definitely be coming back here. For, for sure. <laughs> oh.